Okay, Facebook Live, we are just about to go live. And for my clients that I always talk about, let's do a behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. This is kind of to stage it out for you guys. Um, you'll only really be able to see the host position. But again, it's all about getting that full effect of the behind the scenes live in action right before you're gonna do your show. So here we are, and you can kind of see Glory through. <laughs> Poor thing, you're like behind, here we are. With the, <laughs> Under the tripod. Yes, it's also kind of to yeah. calm those jitters. But the jitters are exciting because it makes it that much more entertaining mm -hmm. and energy, right? Real so life. when I'm coaching through clients, I'm like, you know, go five energy levels above your normal because your audience can feel it. Yeah. It's so important. All right, who's gonna count us down? See us? Hello and welcome. My name is Sarah Crilly and I'm with Real News Public Relations and Real News Communications Network. I'm so excited to welcome you to our Meet the Team edition. And sitting next to me is her first day, Glory Holland. Welcome. Hi, I'm very excited to be here. I'm so excited. So first of all, I mean, it's your first day. Yes. And here we are interviewing you. <laughs> I know. I'm ready to be thrown into anything. So. Yes, you are. High five. I love it. Actually, we should do a cheers okay. with a branded Real News Communications mug. Um, I don't know when we printed these off, it's like kind of backwards and yeah, reverse, but it works out. Yeah, it works. <laughs> of course, my cup is filled with a double shot of espresso because that's how I start Monday. Mine every morning. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I really wanted to uh, start this concept of a meet the team segment. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of fun to get us in the studios and get to know each other a little bit better. And then to be able to like share that out, you know, it's yeah. fun to be able to be in the host position to have the opportunity to interview y'all. I've done a couple of little practice producings and so I had Trelda's one of our newest team members too. We have so many new team members here. Uh, and I sat in the chair and I did the lighting and everything. I was yeah. like, all right, child, this is kind of practice for me, but I mean, selfishly, I'm having fun with it. It's this. for both of us. Yes. Okay, so go ahead and give us your story. Okay. Where are you from? What are you hoping to get out of a Real News PR uh, okay. internship with us? All right, so I just finished up my junior year at the University of Oklahoma, about to be a senior, which really exciting, but also kind of scary, but <laughs> I'm ready to take on anything. So um, I finished up an internship last semester in branding, and I'm really excited because I've never worked with PR before, and it's just kind of a world where you can do a little bit of everything, so that's what I'm definitely most excited about learning here. So when you think about branding, and I'm sure you've learned a mm -hmm. ton, what's some things that you kind of walked away with that you're thinking about? Because I know that there's personal and professional branding, and then there's uh, marketing branding for companies. What was like your favorite takeaway that you learned? So I think it's important that as a client and as someone working with a client, you get a really clear view of what that client wants. Um, thinking of keywords that you see for your own brand is really helpful in my brainstorming process. I always go back to those keywords a client has given me, so you can make sure that you're always keeping the same vision throughout the process. Absolutely, I learned so much in branding just through uh, my dad going out speaking. Mm -hmm. His whole thing, with Jeff Curley, it's you know to be a brand, you want to become an expert in your field. Exactly, so that's a lot of what we talk to our clients about with public relations is think about branding as something that you're very passionate about. Maybe it's your career that you've been working on for decades on end, yeah. and, and you know put your flag in the sand and say, hey, I am an expert in this, this, and this, and make it broad so you can connect with a broader audience. It exactly. doesn't be so narrow. Yes, so that's I think, kind of what I've gotten out of it. It's yeah. just, you know, kind of think bigger. Think bigger than just who you are today, but who you want to be and who you want to become, and put it out to the world in the existence and exactly. speak it. Speak the truth. And especially in this um, time when content creation, people are saying, oh, is there too, ma too many content creators out there? And I really don't think there ever can be because it just always expanded and everyone has their own personal take on things. So that's another reason you want to shoot really big and broad because you could always be reaching a point that someone else isn't. I absolutely love that. You said something very important, which is, you know, think bigger and is there too much content out there? No, you are, you are a very like special soul. Yeah. You have so much to give the world and so to, Think about, well, there's too much content out there, or there's too many people that are no. like me. Nobody's like you. Nobody's exactly. like Lori. And so, you know, what's interesting too is with some of the, you know, different guests that we have in in here, in these studios, in these four walls of Real News yeah. Pairs, you get to meet so many people. And so that's what I love, and to be able to share that with you this summer mm -hmm. is just, I can't Very believe exciting. it. So I think we should do like little, you know, touch base. Uh, yes. Here's what I learned, here's kind of what, I'm going to be teaching some of our other interns. Yes. I had talked with you. I'm like, Gloria, right, you're the first one for this. I know. We're early. waiting for all the rest of you guys. <laughs> Maybe we'll interview you next. Maybe we need to send them this interview. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to put them in the hot seat. <laughs> They're going to be like, 
ready for so it. So fun. So share with us a little bit more. How's the college experience? Okay. Like, what, what do you want to do when you grow up? You have so, so many opportunities. Yeah, I like am kind of all over the place. Um, like I said, I graduate next May, so I really want to do a little bit of traveling in the month after I graduate. Absolutely. Um, I've been saying for a few years now that my dream job would be a creative director because I don't want to just be doing one thing. And I think as a creative director, you get to control a lot of different aspects, which, which I love. And I also like to be in charge. Yes. So I think both of those would come together and I could really express all my creativity doing that. Um, so right now, when I think of my dream job, that's what I think of, but I haven't had a lot of experience to say definitely that's what I want to do. Well, you are going to learn so many things here. You're going to learn about pitching reporters with our PR side of the experts are all former journalists. So it's yeah. awesome to be able to work in a fast-paced news environment. I know. And then we have our video team and their social media reporters. They go out on scene and they get to report live from social media live. It's Always just like doing a something broadcast. different. Yeah. It's so fun. And, you know, they they are sending those stories back to us. And they're doing day turns. I mean, yeah. they're on deadline. And it's incredible. They walk in. Sarah Macias, who's producing the show today, she's <laughs> like, oh, I already got that. that to shoot that. Wow, when? you are so speed of news, and that's our tagline, yeah. by the way, speed of news, we do hashtag speed of news, so I'll hashtag speed of news on this one, <laughs> but you'll you'll experience so much, and I, my goal, and you can hold me to this, okay. is to have you producing a show, okay. to learn it, and to be able to run one, and I would love doing to that. be with that experience, mm -hmm. and to say, hey y'all, you know, I finished my summer internship, and I produced this. a show, <laughs> yes. and then you can have those creative elements in the yeah. flesh of it, so, and now you'll also be able to coach somebody that is in the hospital. I mean, in, yeah. This is what it's like to be a guest. You'll be able to watch this and be able to say, yeah, yeah. that's cool. You know, when Sarah's messing around with all the, you know, decorations. This is how it all works. This yeah. is how it all works. See the big picture of all of it. <laughs> and just all those fine little details are what make these shows mm -hmm. so special, too. I think just to add a little bit Set of it apart. Yeah. personality. Um, so, anyways, do you have any questions for me? Just, I, I'm going to, like, switch gears. Okay. Have you be the host for a second. Okay, so what is your favorite part about the culture here at Real News PR? So much. Okay, yeah. so what I love about the culture with Real News PR is that we take everybody's ideas here, and we have these meetings, and we talk about, you know, we have so many different dynamic clients, yeah. and so every voice gets to be heard, everybody gets to be a part of what they want to be a part of. We don't really hold anybody strict to, oh, you're just working on this client, or you're just in this department. That's why we're cross-training so much. Yeah. So it's really a company founded on innovation, storytelling, and just new ideas. I mean, I'm not kidding you. The Real News Communications Network, this podcast division, this is new. This is yeah, and it's growing. I mean, old. even from the last time I was here a couple months ago, I can already see it expanding out. Yes, yeah. yes. So there's like a hundred favorite things. Mm -hmm. I also. Uh, I love working for a family company, so yes. working with my dad, I have always said I want to be my dad when I grow up. <laughs> I just adore my father. Um, I'll share a quick story with okay. you. When I was in kindergarten, I went to uh, Ennis Elementary School, um, you know, just a little south of yeah. here, and I remember they were saying, so, you know, share what your family does, or, you know, I remember thinking, well, what channel is your dad on? Because <laughs> my dad was Fox 4, so I thought everybody's dad was, was on, on TV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was just... Uh, kind of uh, eye-opening for me that oh my gosh my dad's so special yeah, he, he does gets to important. go out and story tell and he's a journalist mm -hmm. and walks four and so anyways I love working for a family company um you know my stepmom's involved you know she's from the entertainment reporting uh, okay. world so it's really cool to be able to hear her vantage point of what she's learned through her reporting days and now she does public relations for okay. Highland Park Village so she has that exciting perspective my brother does digital marketing and he started off as a web designer here and uh, then my fiance Nick is in marketing with uh, UPS, but he's always talking about like what yeah, the he big can still in here. <laughs> do, and so we hear hear his voice a lot and, and different things. But no, it's it's really fun, and I really enjoy it. And there's just you know this is just the beginning. That's yeah. what I've always said to my dad. I'm like, look, you know, it's been 10 years, but let's plan for the next. And it's so 10. exciting to see how you can grow too. Yes, 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 yes. But thank you for asking me that. Of course. Yeah, company culture is so important. Mm -hmm. You know, we just did a team building activity on Friday, and I couldn't believe, you know, just getting us out of the office, shutting the office down early. Yeah. Uh, we have competitive team members. We were oh. rolling at his <laughs> and y'all. So uh, just a little side note, and I could tell a million stories. <laughs> Sarah says is laughing back there. Okay, Sarah, <laughs> you missed this, but I went Facebook Live throughout it. Did you watch it? She has a naughty head, just a little bit. 
Um, so I'm not a bowler by any means. Okay, uh -huh. I actually kind of have a stronger swing, I think, from Wii bowling. When I was oh, bowling, yeah. I would do Wii bowling. I'm pretty good at Wii like bowling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the form was good, but uh, I hadn't been bowling for a while, so my fingers just started hurting. I was oh, like, oh my gosh, we gotta go through another game. But I wanna, you know, like behind the scenes, I'm like yeah. crying. I'm like, oh my gosh, my hand. Why are these big bowling balls? I have like yeah. a seven pound ball. Oh, I always get the ones that are literally for kids. Yes, so for I kids, can pitch them. Right, mm -hmm. and have fun with it. But um, I decided, what if I bowled with my left hand? It's like, ha, let's have a competition. What if everybody <laughs> can bowls be the best? with their opposite okay. hand? And Matt Stoker, who uh, is with our podcast team, uh, Real News Communications, he bowls with his left hand predominantly. So I kind of joked with him. I said, yeah. hey, what would happen if you bowled with your right hand? He goes, oh, there's no way. So I kind of went around. And turns out, y'all, I have a theory that everybody is better with their opposing hand. OK, I believe this because when I play soccer, Whenever we all, our whole team came up with a similar theory, whenever you kicked with your non-dominant foot, your aim was better. You have to focus more on it. And so it's less about, it's less about power and it's more about like hitting the target. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Listen world, try it. New okay? theory. It's worth it. <laughs> it was so fun. But then at the end of it, my dad ended up getting a strike. Jeff oh really? The CEO of this VR. <laughs> Bulls with his left hand, he was like, I don't think I could do this. And he gets a strike. Yeah, right, that's when all the pills, pills took out. Right, okay. What a dad thing to say, oh, I can't do this, and then bull a strike. Yes, and yeah. I was so excited, and of course the levels were off the charts on Facebook Live, so I'm like, so I'm like, <laughs> like, 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 probably how these levels are, so we'll have to see in post-production, <laughs> like all over the place. But anyways, Lori, um, anything else you want to leave us with? Hello, world, Lori is here, we're so excited. I'm very excited for the <laughs> summer. Can't wait to see what happens. Yes, and we will be back with our next team member. Who's it going to be? I'm hoping I could get Derek in the studio. We'll see if he's available. And then Sarah Macias, congratulations, girlfriend. We're going to give you a round of her applause. Her first show. I want to be able to have a camera in there so we can see her. She's just so Yeah, that'd like, be fun to cut over to her for a second. Uh -huh. So, all right, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs> that was so fun. Yeah, that was Yay! good. Great I kind of like that I was just on the spot. I think I did better just being like on the spot, like yeah. kind of random, because you don't have to think about it. No, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to watch the playback. You want to open the window? It gets hot in here. It's also nice to be able to just that was feel it. great. Was it great? <laughs> that you was know, a great question, Lori. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like that was fun. Yeah. I think when I had led in, I used this camera. I should have been leading in here, huh? Oh. Well, you were Like when you started? Yeah, I, I kept it on this one, so you looked at the right way, but yeah, I think, I think we usually start with like the whole thing. And then were you able to switch throughout? Yeah, I did. Was it easy to keep up with? Because I was trying to like linger on my questions so you would have time to like switch to her. Oh, I wouldn't even think of that. Yeah, no, it, I, it was fine. Like I used a two shot and whatever. Let me give you guys a behind the scenes of Sarah Macias. Hi everyone, we just wrapped up. Oh, that was our mic check. Oh, yeah. Great job. <laughs> Yay! She did so good. <laughs> I tried to do most of the talking to give her a little time to settle and <laughs> kind of get adjusted. Maybe I over talked I, like, I was like, okay, what am I going to say next? You did so okay. good. Okay. Great. It was fine. It was fun. We will post the full interview so you can see what the shots look like in the studio. And again, with Real News PR and Real News Communications, uh, we have four different studios. Yeah. This one is my favorite because I wanted to just add that clean white table aspect, the white microphones. We've got the beautiful natural lighting. And uh, anyways, thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Yay! <laughs>